This is the book of John, chapter 9 and verse 4. I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. The night cometh where no man can work. Call Halal, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Bahashim, Kakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Mills when I do teach and rule well and peace, love, and blessings to those for elect. I'm the brother of call to my left. Brothers of Quran. And we are the brothers of prophets in Babylon down in Tampa, Florida. And I also want to say shalom to you brothers and sisters out there that believe on those names and truth and in sincerity. Lord, what is that defying lesson? You know, what the brothers brought out, you know, St. John 9 and 4. Okay, we must work the works of him that sent us, you know, dealing with us men. All right, dealing with us men, you know, whom have been called to the forefront, okay, to preach this gospel. We must work the works of him that sent us, which is to him is Yahweh Shai. While it is day, the night cometh when no man can work. So there's a time that we're coming into, well, really that we're into, where we're not going to be able to do these videos. We're not going to be able to watch these videos. There's going to come a time where the adversaries starts to cream decrees to uh, to outlaw truth. He's going to uh, he's going to completely outlaw truth in the society of his man because this society is completely against the ways of truth, right? Against the ways of Yahweh and against and ultimately against the ways of Yahweh Shem Al Shai, and he's going to do that by um, shutting down social media. Recently, they just passed a law, all right, uh, to ban TikTok, man. All right, because a lot of truth, a lot of things are going going on TikTok. To a lot of truth, I, you know, I be on TikTok just scrolling, and you have um, not necessarily well, you got the truth on TikTok. You know, some brothers. You know, post things about you how about your shy, but when I say truth, you know, I'm speaking as a sense of uh, uh, of exposing uh, the uh, the elite of Edom's plans. Mm -hmm. like you have a lot of their plans being exposed by way of social media, and see, they don't want that. They don't want that type of heat on them, man. All right, they they want they want to catch these people um, in a snare and completely off guard. But you have too much truth going out, and then I got this article right here, and it says the World Economic Forum will plot how to counter misinformation at its 2023 annual meeting. Con, you know, if I may add, like the brother went in on TikTok, Instagram is going into this same thing right here. Because on Instagram, they, they, they're coming out with a new law. They're going to tell you if your post is, uh, uh, how, how is it, if it's, um, if it's, uh, too censored to be, uh, misinformation. So basically, if they feel like your, your post contains misinformation, they're going to, uh, warn you off rip. You know they're gonna they're basically gonna be uh controlling the amount of stuff that you post and the well, things that you post. Well, the warning the warning time is over. They just gonna start taking brother's channels down. Come on, let me let me. I'm gonna find you, it. I'm gonna grab it. Can you get that precept saying uh woe to them that decree unrighteous decrees? Come on. You know, cause this is an unrighteous decree. You know, to completely outlaw truth. All right, that that's that's an unrighteous decree, man. You know, if you if you're outlawing truth, that means you're um pushing wickedness. Uh, because this this devil society is completely against the ways of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. It's all about forwarding the agenda of Satan, man. Uh -huh. You know this this is a satanic society that we live in. And see, beginning with our apostles and our elders of Great Millstone, you know, like minded brothers on down. You know, we've been pushing this truth heavy. We've been pushing it strong, man. And see, Edom knows that, and the vibration of truth has been going out in the earth. The vibration of truth. The vibration of exposing this devil for who he is, exposing his agendas. You had in 2022, the uh, Georgia Godstones were just mysteriously broken down. Mm -hmm. You see, because for a long time, people ain't really going to the Georgia Godstones. But, you know, when people when they start really to like, oh, shit, it says maintain popular, uh, maintain, maintain humanity under 500 under million. 500 million. Like, oh, snap, you in, know, in perpetual balance with nature. So, you, you know, if how you going to maintain <laughs> humanity under 500 million if it's eight plus billion people on the earth. Uh -huh. So what? That's that's mass murder of, of the people on the planet Earth. So too much, too much information. So they talking about now they calling it misinformation. Like, oh, no, you know, that's that's not true. Trusting your government. Uh -huh. And if I may add to reiterate what I was saying about Instagram, it says Instagram has launched a new update that tells you if your posts are too edgy to be recommended. All right. right. So, so like, censoring. So, uh, yeah, it's censoring. You know, so if brothers go in, go in on a certain topic, you know, they, they might, they, they might, before brothers can hit post, they might be like, oh, nah, this may be too edgy to post. It might be misinformation. And, you know, how, you know, you know how Esau play his tricks, you know? Con, you know, so 
they about to they, they about to come down hard with it, man. They about to come down hard with it. You know, and I look at a lot of these celebrities, so called celebrity Jakes, like you got Andrew Tate. They just seized that guy's house for ten supercars. They, you know, nigga just they just locked them up. You know what I'm saying? Locked them up, persecuted them because you know he pushes out uh he pushes out a lot of masculinity. You know, I would say that. He may he makes some good points and you see what they do to him and they anybody that's 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 speaking out, you know, against the ways of this devil, you know, basically he's gonna make a war against it, but primarily dealing with you brothers out there, man. You know, we ain't gonna be doing these videos forever. It's gonna come a time where the uh the Bible, you know, the word of Yahweh by Shemal Shai will be outlawed, man. Like in the um, perfect example of that is the book of Eli. You they show you in the book of Eli, they tell you how they outlawed the Bible. You know what I'm saying? They they burnt all the all the books up, they burnt them up. They tell you that in that movie. Well, we coming into a time where Esau Edom is going to do the same thing. You know, he's going to outlaw this word. He's going to he's going to demonize, completely demonize the ways of Yahweh Bashi Mount Shai. And um, I got a precept right quick. Con, I had the Isaiah too. Con, I got a precept right quick. Yeah, grab that first. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter ten and verse one. It says, "Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decree." Yeah, he, the him, the them are right, Esau Edom. Beginning with their elites, okay, because you know you have a government and you have a president, but then you have a shadow government behind that who's really pulling the strings, okay, and that's your uh, the the global elites, you know, the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, the Duponts, the Gettys, all right, mainly the uh, the Rothschilds, okay. But go ahead. It says, and that right grievousness which they have prescribed, and which right grievousness which they have prescribed, right. So they prescribing, they they're they're pushing out uh, uh, uh alphabet agenda. They're pushing out uh, uh um murdering children. They push out all these different things. But when it comes to truth, they outlaw it. So that's an unrighteous decree, and the Lord said, Woe unto them. Alright, so destruction unto them and to your society. Because hey, as the ways of the king, so is the people. So if you're outlawing truth. And you're not pushing the ways of truth. The civilians are not going to push the ways of truth. They're not going to, you know, they're going to outlaw they're truth. They're going to follow after you. So, you know, and the reason he's doing that is because he's being revealed by way of the Internet, man. Beginning with the apostles and the elders of Ray Millstone. Beginning with the like-minded brothers. Right. I got a precept right quick. This is the book of Second Thessalonians. Chapter 2. In verse 8, it says, And then shall that wicked be revealed, mm. whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. And who is the spirit of the Lord's mouth? The prophets. All right. Luke 1 and 70. Uh, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. So the Lord is revealing this devil by, uh, uh, by way of the prophets. You see, and that spirit is just going out in the earth of you just being revealed, man. All your devices, all your craftiness, all your plans, all your agendas, it's all being revealed by way of the Internet. That's why you had this devil that came out and said the worst thing we could have created was the Internet. But see, it wasn't of you to create the Internet. It was of you. How about you, Mal Shai, to make you create the Internet? It says, and shall be destroyed with the brightness of his coming. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan. With all power and signs and lying wonders. Right, man. It, was, it says, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness, and then that perish because they receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. You see? But we have received the love of truth, brothers. You know, we have uh, we have uh, 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 received the spirit of truth. We have received the understanding from Yahweh Bashi Mal Shai. Right. That, we, that we, you know, could not... Uh, uh, May not be deceived by this devil and his Con, agendas. Con, you know, we, we were set free. Yeah, we, yeah. We, we learned the truth and the truth set us free. It made right. us free. Right. You know? And it's another precept. After that, it says, Second, Second Thessalonians 2 and 11. It says, For this cause, Yahweh shall send them strong delusion mm. that they shall believe a lie. Right. It says that they all might be damned to believe not the truth, but have pleasure in unrighteousness. Con. You see, and this is the agenda of Esau Edom. This is the agenda of Esau Edom, man. Okay. <laughs> he he deceived you. Deceived you into believing a lie. Like he deceived you into believing that that job was going to protect you from the sea thing. Con, you know, you believed that you fell for it because you ain't had the truth. Con, you know, and like like the brother said, you know, 
the Lord said, be not ignorant of Satan's devices, you know, and that was one of Satan's devices. But the Lord bestowed upon us the Rakaqa Dash, you know, this holy this holy knowledge, and it, it set us free. Yeah. You know? So we, we were caught up in that snare, you know, when he saw his traps, you know. We we were we were the Lord didn't allow us to be caught up in that. You know? Yep. Yeah. You know, he, he and he set us free by the way of the uh, Rakaqa Dash. But see you people out there, you 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 you, you have been uh bitten by the serpent. You know, and, you know, and, and how much, and then how much more when there isn't no truth? You know, how much more when everything the men that you have been scoffing and mocking at, you know, were telling the truth, and it starts to it starts to come to pass, and you start to see it. When what you gonna do? You are gonna seek for it, but can't find it. Now you can um, you got you got it still, right? Kind of. Um, nah, matter of fact, I got it. I'm gonna bring it out. This is the book of Amos. You know, going yeah, to the oh the family of the word. That's the you know that's. You know, we here now, man. You know, it's not even. Of thing of, you know, if it's when you know it's 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 here. It's well, it was now. never if because it, it was always prophesied to happen. But now you see Esau actually, he's pushing the agenda of of censoring truth. You know, Amos eight and eleven it says, "Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, power, that I will send a famine on the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord." Right, and you know, not a famine of bread and not a famine of water, but he's going to bring that too. All right, but scripture says what? Well, what did Yahweh Shai say? Yahweh Shai said, Men should not live off bread alone, but of every word that proceeded out of the mouth of Yahweh. All right, because that's that's the true, you know, that's the true bread right there, man. That's, that's really going to fill you up. Con, you know, and if I may add, you know, a perfect example, like, like the brother said, that's what's really going to fill you up. You can physically eat and you can also spiritually eat. Right. And in this time, we are spiritually eating to be sustained in that day so we yeah. can be strong. Yeah. All right. Because if you fall in the day of adversity, your strength is small. Yeah. All right. Well, what? Scripture and says wisdom and knowledge shall be, be the stability, stability of that time. Times, you know? Yeah. Yeah. The wisdom and knowledge is going to be the stability of our uh, the, like, yeah. the wisdom and knowledge is going to be the stability of our times. And on top of that, knowing, studying and uh uh, abounding in the work of your high shot now, mm -hmm. that's what's gonna have brothers be uh, strong. Uh, the brothers are gonna have strength in that day. You know, right. brothers are gonna be strong. Right. You know, brothers are not gonna fall in that day. Right. It says, and they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east. You know, why? Why by way of what? The internet. Right. They're gonna be searching on all these different these different websites. They can go here, try to go here. They're not gonna be able to. You know. You ain't gonna be able to. You gonna see uh, on Instagram, and all you can find is Creflo Dollar. All you can find is TD Snakes, Gino Jennings, Gino, Gino, Gino Jennings, and you know Joel Osteen. That's all you're gonna be able to find. You're not gonna be able to find a true man of the Lord because you know at that point the Lord said enough. The word went out. That was it. You know, yeah, hey, it's, the there, there's a time period for everything. That there's a time. There's a beginning and an end to everything, man. There was a beginning, the word started to be pushed, and there's an end. You know, mm -hmm. the Lord, the Lord ain't finna sit here and talk to you people forever, man. The Lord, he, he hey, everything is right on time with him. Like in the time of Noah, the, it, was, it was a time for Noah to talk, and it was a time for Noah to get on the ark. God. Right now, it's the time, you know, we, we still in that grace period of talking. At that point, it ain't gonna be no more talking. When the Lord done talking, when, when the Lord, when, when Noah finished the ark, that mean the Lord was done talking. That was it. The talking you was know, over. Then the then the flood came. He did enough talking. You see, we just the mouthpiece of the Lord. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We telling you what he about to do. So when we done talking, that mean the Lord okay, now now it's time for me to do it. The Lord gonna co sign his prophets. Take his prophets right off. Man, what's man. the what's the Lord is the ultimate prophet? It's his words, but he just using us to say it. So when he do it, like, oh shit, how about she mouth shy Israel? The you Lord, know, the, 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 man, the, and that's just the crazy part. Yeah. You know, we we are blessed so much because we believe in the Lord without having to see Him. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's gonna take a, it's gonna take Jake in in that day. You know, when we have in the uh, so like, how does it go again? Um, in the in the day of our power, that people shall be willing. Yeah, yeah. You know, in that people day, shall be willing in the day the, of our power. People shall be willing in the day of our power. Well, you know? even when that's when, like spiritual power and the blessings, the huh. Lord started blessing us with. Well, even when the prophecies come to pass, Jake gonna start believing, man, because it tells you that in Proverbs one, you know, mm -hmm. uh, um, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer them. Ezekiel thirty three and thirty three. Then thou, then shall they know that the prophet has been among them. They not going you know, they not gonna <laughs> believe us off the words. They are gonna believe off the things that's going on around them when they start seeing it with their own eyes. 
because the Lord gave us insight. We can, we can, you know, the Lord gave us a glimpse of the future through the spirit. We can see everything uh, uh, coming together. You know, the prophecies coming together through the spirit. We can see it through the spirit. But these people going to actually have to physically see it to believe it. And they're going to see it. But I'm back to back to verse 12. It says, and they shall wander from sea to sea and from the north, even to the east. By way of the Internet. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it. Even you're going to try to roll by the camps. You don't see men on the highways and hedges. We're not going to be out there. It's a time and place for everything. At that point, you know, hey, like the, the five foolish virgins and the five wise. You got to find your own oil at that point. Huh. Get your own oil. The time was coming for everybody. The time was there for you to get your oil. You ain't want the oil. Kind of now you got to get your own oil. I was about, and you know, I was about to say that you know, everybody started, you know, at, at a certain point. Mm -hmm. You know, even all of us brothers in the truth, even our elders, you know, our, all of us, even the elders, you know, they all came in at some point. And they started at zero, yeah, and they had to build up, build up, you know, same build thing. Up. Oil. Everybody else, the Lord, the Lord gave everybody a chance to get this. You know, mm -hmm. it was meant for who it was meant for. You yeah, know? the Lord is fair. You know, He gave everybody a chance. You heard it. God. Ain't like ain't like the Lord ain't just tell you. I be hearing people say that. Well, what if, what if the end coming? You ain't hear the word. For, well, no, the nah. Lord said you gonna hear it. The Lord said, speak to them whether they're here or nah, forbear. Here. So everybody had a chance. And even now, you know, you may mess accidentally click on this video. That was your chance. You may accidentally. Well, not it's not. It's no such thing as an accident. It's no such thing uh, as a coincidence. Must, uh. You may just happen to roll power camp. Well, that was your chance. Chance to speak you up, know, say chance, something, chance, you know, try to get, knock, try to knock on the door of the Lord. Yeah, you know? try, try to incline uh, and try to figure out what's going on. What you got? Uh, you know, and I, I want to bring this out because you know this devil has bounds that he cannot pass. Yeah. That's why the devil is push. That's why this devil is pushing so hard and doing the things that he's doing. Mm -hmm. Why? Because Revelation twelve and twelve. Therefore, rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. And that's us. You know, we the heavens. You know, our scriptures say the kingdom of heaven is within you. The Lord said, told us, he told us to rejoice. Yeah, Why? rejoice. Because it says, woe, which means destruction to the inhabitants of the earth yep. and of the sea. It says, for the devil is come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth he had but a short time. Yeah, so in the midst of him coming down with great wrath, you know, we understand, like, oh, well, that's, that's the next piece of prophecy. That's another prophecy that's getting us closer to the kingdom of heaven. You supposed to come down with great wrath, you idiot. <laughs> It's meant for you, like you know, you're like dummy. You supposed that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to come down with great wrath. There's nothing to be scared of. That's what you're supposed to do. And the Lord is telling us to rejoice. The, the Lord, like, hey, okay. Now he come down with great wrath. He doing all this good. Now what's the next part? What's the what's the next part of the movie? Because mm. you know, it came down with great wrath. You know, now you're gonna bring that karagma. Okay, what's the next part? You know, he done got to run the Karagma out. Okay, the That's next crazy. part is waiting for... Now he's waiting for that destruction. Uh -huh. Oh, the destruction come up. Well, yeah, I was showing the way. There we go. So you see, the Lord... Hey, man. That's, that's your pa. And the Lord gave us the... Uh, uh, um, how you Chronological order of things. Mm -hmm. This, 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 and this. Watch out for these things. Then you're going to know. We, okay. So right now, we at this point in time where he about to start shutting this thing down. Next is going to be this. Right, no, you, and even the Lord, the Lord already told us our salvation is nearer than when we yeah, believe. We believe yeah. You know, so uh, as you watching, as we being watchmen, good watchmen, and we on our towers and we on our watch, we see that the time is nearer than when we believe. Yeah, it ain't, you know? it ain't gonna be long. <laughs> it's not gonna be long, you know, and it's not far fetched. It's not hard to see now, especially with all the prophecy. You know, as a kid, you would think, oh, I'm about to grow up in Babylon, be 50, 60, 70 years old, and you know, have a career. What well, the Lord know? said and, that. And, um, Cause what that's Jake was that Jake would say that in the ancient world uh -huh. when the Lord sent the prophets out, they will um say, well, it's going to happen in our children. It's like no, the Lord said I will cause this proverb to cease in Israel, because I will say it and they're going to see it in their lives. Uh -huh. You know, because Jake would Jake Jake would do that same shit. Oh man, man, all right, man, it's going to happen to my son's son's generation. Oh no, no, no nigga, said, this it's going to happen. Not it's, oh, the Lord man. said this generation this, shall not pass. You going the Lord? Shall not pass. Now the Lord going to make you see it in your life. All right, what you got? Some on that. Uh, no, that wasn't on that, but I had um, Miss Joe Kind to grab that. But you know, and like like the, like we were going into, you know, this devil has bounds that he cannot pass, and he, this this devil literally, he's trying to move forward with an agenda. But little does he know, he's on your Habashi Mel Shah's time. Yeah, that's the Rashi Habashi Mel Shah's agenda to to shut out to shut down truth. 
time. The Lord don't when the, when you shut down the truth, it's because your halibut Shemal Shai wanted you to shut down the truth. It's because your halibut Shemal Shai said, "Okay, that's enough." Devil gonna be not because you said it's enough, nigga. See, Esau, you think you're doing something, man? You gonna come to find out that you're not doing anything? Yeah, how about and that and, and that in itself is a faith booster. Like, yo, the Lord controlled this guy. Like, it's like, yo, what type of faith is that to believe? Like, even in that day of affliction, you know, some of us are getting cast to prison. If you get cast in prison, it's because the Lord wanted you to get cast into prison. Mm. If you have to face the guillotine, it's because the Lord wanted you to face the guillotine. Not because Esau had it in his power to make you face the uh, guillotine. Like Yahweh Shah said, he said, you have no power, but the power my, my father has given unto you. Right, and a man's heart divides his way. But right, the Lord directed his right. Footsteps, so the Lord, but it's so the Lord is behind this agenda of you trying to sh uh, uh, shut down the truth and censor this and censor that. That's the how about Shemal Shah's agenda, man. Come on, you know, and like the brother was saying, you know, Esau might be thinking himself, oh, I want to do this, I want to do that. We got to shut this down, shut that down. Little do he know, it's your how about Shemal Shah playing the tricks. You know, you have, right. the Lord is controlling the strings, right, right. man. You know, the King Lord is charging the hand of the Lord. Yeah, you know, so the, the Lord is setting everything up. And this devil, this devil think he's winning right now. Well, really, the Lord, through, through faith in what, what we believe, what us brothers believe in, we see, we already see this devil, the de this devil is already set up to lose. You know, we already have the victory and we already see that, you know. The Lord is already setting this devil up. You know, I'm going to grab this. Uh, Job, this is the book of Job, chapter 5 and verse 12. Start a verse before that. What did uh, it say before that? It says it's set up. No, no, no. Uh, that's, that's why I went straight to the point. Uh, Job uh, 5 and 12. He disappointed the devices of the crafty. Who was the crafty? All right, he's so the so called white man, you know, the elites. Go ahead. It says, so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. Ooh, yep. <laughs> to, 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 to push this NWO and get everybody to take their that Karak. But you only going to get so, the Lord going to allow you to get so far. You know, the Lord going to make you think that you actually going to fulfill your NWO. He actually going to let you think that you're got the, that you're going to receive the victory then. Boom. Oh, it's, what, and it's a precept on that? Right when he's about to fill his belly. Yeah, that's what you're trying to grab it. Oh, yeah. Spirit. Spirit. Boom. You know, right when you're about to fill your belly, right when you think you got it. That's it. What it say? I don't know. It's, um. I gotta find that right quick. I just had it. Uh, it's this in Jeremiah 51. Try to point. Uh, let me grab it. In the app. Come on. There you go. Come on. What say? Oh, no, this is the wrong. It's a lot. Uh, yeah, but I got it. Job 20 and verse 23. Oh, God. It says, um, start a verse before that. I'm just getting the Bible out. Bail me right quick. 20 and 23. Con. I got I it. Got you. Start of verse uh twenty two. Well, I'm gonna still go to the Bible app and look at it right quick. This is the book of Job. Twenty and verse twenty three. Yep. Twenty and verse twenty three. It says, uh, when he is about to fill his belly, Yahweh by Shimei Shai shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him, and shall rain it upon him while he is eating. So right, right when you're about to. You know, fill your belly right when you think you're about to fulfill your enterprise. God, you know, so like I mean to cut the breath off. You know, and right now Esau is eating. Yeah, he's you know, eating this, right this now. Yep. He's filling his belly right now. Mm -hmm. You know, pushing out all these decrees, pushing out all these laws. All right, to uh, to put his NW on place, and right when you're about to fulfill it, right when you're about to reach the peak of it, Yahweh Shemal Shai gonna cast his wrath upon you, man, because you ain't you ain't the Most High. God, and you gonna you gonna you gonna see that you're nothing but a mere man. Okay, you're nothing but a man. But a mortal. But a mortal. Yahweh said, I will, I will not meet thee as a man. So, okay, so Yahweh he's coming back as an angelic power. That shit crazy, man, because it's not like the Lord just sending any old angel back, man. Like, we talking about the second strongest being in existence. existence you know what I'm saying? It's, <laughs> it's crazy because it's like, that's, that's, wow. Like, yo, shit. What type of wrath is that going to be? That's you know what I'm saying? Like. It's not like, like he's just sending the, the, like the literal definition of pain. Right, pain. Boy. Like if the, even if the Lord sent a, a one angel back, the lowest, the lowest of the angels, the Lord can send back and destroy this dest entire dest earth. Destroy this entire earth. But he's sending his son back. Like yo, the second strongest 
basically this, you know what I'm saying? Like the, the slap the, it's like yo, man. Yeah, the heavenly father Yahweh ain't coming back. He's sending his son back, man. His son, the first spirit created, you know. He, and you're going to try to go fight him. Man, shit. And you're going to be confounded, man. You know, we as we live in some exciting times because we're all going to see it. We all everybody on this earth right now, everybody on this earth right now is going to see how it shall return. You see? And you know, hey brothers, we have a we have a chance to be on his good side, man. We doing his work. We preaching his word. So it's like, yo, that's that's like, oh shit. You know, hey Lord willing, you know, we make it to the yeah, end, we stay stronger to our end. You know, when the Lord come back, <clears throat> he said, Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Okay? And that's it, and that's and that's what we that's what we haste for, man. So, you know, you decree you decree all the, you making all these unrighteous decrees, man. C continue to do it. It's only to your own demise. It's only to your own demise, man. You got something else? That was it on that. Hey, Consul. Hey, Lord, as the video else was edifying. You know, we're going to close out the way we opened up by giving all praise, honor, and glory to yeah. Yahweh yeah. by Shimei yeah. Shah yeah. by yeah. Shemuel Kapadash. Yeah. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Mills on the due teaching rule well. Until next time, we do say Shalom. Shalom. And a Baba Ball. A Baba Ball.